Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am coming up with a unique topic of taking inventory opening stock which is lot and serial number controlled valuation. So I have created a fresh company in my database which has no entries, nothing in my accounting and then I am configuring everything from scratch. So first of all, what I need to do is in the settings, I need to enable this automatic accounting with setting inventory valuation, stock interim received and delivered accounts in the automatic accounting. So let me just create chart of account for the same. So I am going into chart of account and then over here I am creating new account stock received entry stock delivered entry. and for opening stock I am again creating a separate account which we will be using and how we are setting it off after adjusting entire entry that we will be going to see over here. So now going into accounting again, I am setting stock interim received and delivered account over here and then in the product configuration, product categories, these are the default categories and here we have prepared one excel sheet which represent the two category serialize and load wise. So this what I am going to do is I can also import that okay but let me create it manually or if I am going to import let's try that out. So name, costing method, inventory valuation and, and all. So yeah, it doesn't have the proper data. So I'm just importing what data was available and both the category has been imported load wise and serial wise. Whatever costing method you set over here, it won't impact anywhere. Why? because now whatever products we are going to create here is my product list which are you know electronic gadgets and most of the products are controlled by unique serial number or by lot number so this is my product master which we have created to import like laptop which is serial number control product HDMI cables which is lot number control product and then so on wireless headphones power adapters camera memory card so you can see the tracking also so next step i have everything ready with my category and then what i will do is i will go to my inventory and then product master which has all the other products ready but i will import all new product from my file so this is my product list and then I will say test and I will import all this data. So now if I group by product category, lot wise and serial wise, all this product has been imported. So now you can see it is controlled by loads and we also have to enable this field in order to do valuation by load or serial number. So this field is not here. So if I want to add studio, let me check. The boolean is available here. So what I will do in order to update mass boolean, I will just check it and I update it in mass. So now all the product 
दिस प्रोडक्ट एच डी एम आई केबल्स लैपटॉप केसिस मेमोरी कार्ड ऑल आर कंट्रोल बाय लॉट्स एंड देन दिस आर कंट्रोल बाय यूनिक सीरियल नंबर्स सो वी हैव इंपोर्टेड टेन रिस्पेक्टिव प्रोडक्ट्स विथ रिस्पेक्टिव कैटेगरी एंड द टाइप ऑफ वेल्युएशन नाउ द थर्ड थिंग इज इफ आई वॉन्ट टू एडजस्ट ऑल द इन्वेंटरी in odu we have to have the lot and serial number required during inventory adjustment so during this inventory adjustment i should have my product and lot serial number associated in my lot and serial number master ready and then i can able to import all my different products at my stock location respectively so now what i will do is i have to give respective cost to serial number item see if i say i am giving respective cost to different different uh, you know lot and serial number this is how my things are working over here and then this is power adapters then this is digital camera this is again memory card so all different lot number and serial number which have unique pricing tablet again then again mobile charger then tv television and then laptop case so now my cost pile is ready with unique lot and serial number which is associated with my products so these all are different 10 products where i have put incorporated my cost and now what i will do is i will go to my product and lot and serial number masters and then i will plan to import that over here so this will become my product and this will become my lot and serial number so now if i go here hdmi cable which has lot 1 2 3 4 if i go and search it the cost is 26 so it is updated with 26 respectively this lot which is again hdmi cable which has cost 27 which is now again settled like this so every lot and serial number is now equipped with its respective cost so now my base is ready now what i need to do is during the inventory import or adjustment which we are going to do we have to set a specific account so that specific account should go over here which i will add over here as an opening stock so my opening stock over it just meant let me rename it for better clarification which i do mention over here in this virtual location because during my adjustment this account will create its credit entry so now what i will do is i will prepare my final master where all the wh stock is my location so let me check in my warehouse i have to put wh1 stock so my location will be wh stock so if i go to my location it is stock stock so parent location let me rename it 
so it is now same as wh stock which is my default location and then here is my serial number with respective product and its respective quantity so now what i have to do is i have to just go to physical inventory and then import my opening inventory over here product wise so this is how i will connect with my product load and serial number which is ready and import it so all the items with unique serial number with unique product with lot number with this counted quantity are made available over here and then I just select all and apply so I will give the reason opening inventory balance and then boom it is done now if I go to my stock respective items total valuation with scenic serial number you can find over here with HDMI cable with unique load number with unique quantity you will find over here with its actual total value so now when you go and see your accounting counterpart in your balance sheet your total inventories and adjustment account has been settled now so now what to do with this inventory opening stock adjustment account you have two ways to settle it one is you go to chart of account and you do one thing like you go to current asset and then this account you put it off balance sheet okay so now I have to disable that and then I have to make off balance sheet and then from your balance sheet it will be gone and your actual stock will be here with valuation this is one way you can create your opening balance of inventory with unique serial number and lot number with its respective cost the second method to change it to settle the account of opening stock adjustment with your common journal entry so in your journal entry what you will do is when you pass this particular settlement settlement of stock or opening balance you have to use like opening stock adjustment with the valuation so let me check what are the value it is holding right now so 238 260 so total 238 260 is the valuation and i have to settle it down with a kind of suspense account or let's say current year unallocated earnings or maybe a kind of undistributed profit loss account and that's how you can settle this entry and refresh your balance sheet and then your inventory will be here and your opening stock adjustment will be nil like this hope you guys have enjoyed this video and will utilize the method to import opening balance or inventory adjustment anytime there's an opening balance or in between a year by setting up the right valuation on stock load or stock serial number and then import thank you guys good day